Hello y'all, it's been a while, my name is Ruffle Rallet, and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today, we're gonna take a look at something that we haven't done, like I said, in a long time, which is taking a look at information and news in regards to the Pokemon games, so rumors, leaks, all that sort of stuff, we're gonna be talking about it in this sort of summary video. So also, a big first of all thank you to Kilios for essentially kind of like compiling a lot of this stuff for me and helping me out kind of getting all these tweets and what is this all about so to say right so shout out to him for this information because he's the basically the insider who's given us this info right so sit back relax and let's get into this but also keep in mind guys this does not mean the rumors are back i'm just doing this as a sort of summary because i have really been interested in what's been going on in the background as i've not been able to keep up uh, in my normal standard as i used to do before so i thought it'd be fun to just look back into it right now and see what's going on so sit back relax and let's get started so first things first is the kilios tweeted back in a, you know, actually April, that the images of Pokemon Legends Arceus released during the last Pokemon Direct were recorded early December 2020. It would be, it would seem, almost three months before the actual trailer was, you know, shown. Then it continues on, and I'll be, by the way, giving my points and opinions on all this, and for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, the bulk of the game is over. They're fine-tuning it graphically and fixing the bugs. The images would be from early January, as we saw them in the trailer. He continues on, and for the l release date, BDSP is set, I don't know it yet, and LP, uh, LPA is p pending. They'll set it later in the year following the advancement. So basically, once they make more progress. And somebody asked, probably waiting uh, the Nintendo okay, uh, do not disturb the holiday, big game, I guess. Yeah, Nintendo has certainly planned to release a big game early 2022. I'm wondering what it is. Well, that's a good question. Is it going to be Breath of the Wild 2? Nobody knows. Is it going to be something else? No clue. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see, so to say. And of course, Centro kind of quote tweeted and just kind of pointed out a lot of this information that, you know, just was given to us by Kelios. So shout out to Kelios for this info. Um, I'm going to get to that in a second. But yeah, shout out to Kilios for the info. He just kind of like, you know, Sanchez just kind of like paraphrase it here. Uh, so we don't have to translate it saying that Pokemon Legends footage using the Pokemon Present was apparently captured from a build from December 2020. Uh, so that is why, you know, like maybe some things look a little bit jagged. I did hear somebody mention that there is a possibility that the reason that the footage looks kind of laggy and there's FPS drops in the game is actually an aesthetic choice, which I don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, it could be a choice that they aesthetically made so that like the frame rate of the characters is low. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, I think there are a few games that do something along that, like along those lines, right, for like aesthetic purposes. But I don't see why a Pokemon game like that, or a game in general like this, with you know Pokemon Legends Arceus, would require something along those lines. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense, does it? Right? Just seems a little bit off, if I may say so myself. Now we continue on the next thing, right, which is uh, the bulk of the game, BDSP, is finished. They're currently polishing it graphically and fixing bugs. Uh, the footage from the Pokemon Presents is from January build. So, what's this about? Well, basically, uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl are most likely going to be the exact same we saw them in the trailer, right? We shouldn't really expect a lot of massive changes or anything uh, because a lot of people have been thinking that big things going to happen. Like, for example, this rumor that showed up, uh, which is this, I, I'm not sure where this was exactly posted, but... Uh, Possibly, I think this is Instagram. This, right, I think that's where this is from, uh, where they show essentially like, you know, uh, Barry from the actual BDSP trailer, and then an image of like Barry. I think that's Barry from Pokemon, uh, like the Pokemon game on like the phone, uh, Pokemon Masters. I think that's what that image is right there. Uh, I don't know about the background though, if it's just been mimicked to look very similar. And then it says here various leaks suggest that the character models in Pokemon BDSP have been redesigned. These new redesigns will be uh, showcased as part of E3 2021. Uh, and then, you know, this is a point out by Kelios here. This is a bad, bad, bad rumor. Don't expect big changes. And then somebody said, I don't believe it at all. Six months from the release, lol. Uh, the game is almost over. They won't have uh, fun changing at the last moment. Exactly. So there's no way they're going to be making that big of a change, uh, you know, to the game in the short space of time. You know, there's no way. It just doesn't make any logical sense. Like, just make the make the logical thinking here, right? What would their logical, like, you know, what would be logical, logically the most, most smart thing to do here, right? Which is just to continue what you already have because people are going to buy it no matter what, right? People are going to buy the game no matter what you do. Um, and then there's more from Kelios, which is BDSP date is already set. Pokemon Legends date is still uh, undefined, but should be defined later this year. Says that, uh, says that Nintendo has another big game for early 2022. Now, of course, you know, what that other big game might be for, you know, like, you know, early in the year of next year. No clue uh, if that's like, you know, if that's what he's saying here. If Kelios is like pointing that aspect out. No clue. But whatever it is that we might be getting next year, we'll just have to wait and see whatever's going to be popping up early next to Legends Arceus. As for what else we might get at the end of this year, that as well is really up in the air as for possibilities. So just keep that in mind, right? Well, there is one thing here that's interesting, which is that BDSP has been set and Legends Arceus date is still undefined, which is kind of interesting because it did say early 2022, right? That's kind of the, the 
date we were given or the time frame rather if you want to call it that that's kind of the time frame we were given in terms of when to expect things when it came to specifically legends Arceus. and especially with like what we mentioned like what he mentioned earlier that the footage that we saw there is from december 2022 or sorry 2020 if this that if that is correct right uh and then they don't have a date yet set what we saw will be very much changed by the time the next year rolls around because the possible release date might be march or april of next year because that's still early 2022 right that's still early into the year that isn't like super far gone like some other possibilities which we have seen before like some possibilities where like you know they set the game so much further than the initial like kind of time frame we were given but in this case that doesn't seem like the situation at hand this seems like the game is going to come out probably at the start of next year and actually in a pretty reasonable time frame right like it seems going to be in a pretty reasonable time frame in terms of everything so just keep that in mind but yeah so um i can pretty much just like uh, point out the last thing here which is this was by centro kind of pointing this out that new reports from bloomberg about the upcoming switch revision will use nvidia's dlss uh, to upscale resolution to 4k better cpu increased memory price expect to be around 350 to 399 dollars and reiterates bigger se uh, seven inch oled screens so the possibility of this like one of these actually showing up um you know is likely and also unlikely at the same time i don't know how much nintendo would want to like release another console right now in the midst of you know playstation 5 and xbox releasing like what last year uh with their new consoles uh you know like just stuff like that right might get in the way a little bit uh but at the end of the day nintendo kind of rides their own wave they don't really follow the wave of the other companies but at the same time we are still in somewhat of a pandemic right which does cause a bit of an issue in terms of production uh you know just just the manual labor stuff, right? Actually creating the console themselves, right? Is a bit difficult because it will require uh, quite a lot from them, right? They'd have to invest into, you know, uh, spending money for the factories and all that sort of stuff, especially more now that there's less people able to work. Uh, so, you know what I mean? Like, there is a bit of an issue there with the possibility of this releasing anytime soon, right? When will the revision happen? I don't know. Also, Bloomberg has stated several times in the past that there's going to be a revision, but we've never really seen any information about it. And at the same time, there is a possibility it all is real, but the Nintendo keeps making changes and keeps kind of postponing it because things are stopping them from, you know, kind of like wanting to progress. Also, they could be waiting to release the revision to go alongside very big games, possibly Pokemon Legends Arceus or possibly you know legend of zelda breath of the wild 2 those two really make sense as the sort of games to kind of like you know push with the console because you want to make sure people buy it but if you bundle it with something else you know something that people really want then people are going to be even more likely to buy it especially the people that haven't gotten a switch already or the people that want another switch or the people that maybe lost their switch or whatever like you know reasoning might be you want to give them another incentive right an incentive that's really good and also if you give them a reason like let's say breath of the wild right and then you tell them guess what the people who have the new Switch, the, you know, the improved uh, Switch revision, those who have that one will be able to play the game in this resolution or this increased thing, or you'll have extra access to these things, or, you know, FPS will be higher, etc., etc. And then the people who want it for that reason will go and pick it up. So that's just kind of what I'm trying to point out in regards to that. So yeah, let me just zoom in real quick. And basically what I want to say is, this is some of the information we've gotten. Uh, for the most part, that's all. Kilios did also point something out. He was replying to, uh, like, a viewer, as far as I was aware, right? He was replying to a viewer and pointing out that uh, basically there is a chance and let's just look at this right here uh first of all by the way also unite unite is going to be getting it's like actually a reveal very soon and what i mean by that is you can see it right here uh if we just kind of zoom out my camera uh but basically pokemon unite uh was it was tweeted by timmy which are the company that are making pokemon unite that nothing's more exciting than finalizing a reveal trailer of the franchise beloved for decades what would that franchise be well it only makes sense that it's pokemon and pokemon unite incoming by kilios and then you know he's asking like somebody was asking about is it a reveal trailer Trailer. And he says, not necessarily this trailer, but as there is a Tencent conference, they will surely talk about it. And also, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, we know that the beta has been out, like what, Canada and stuff, the beta for Pokemon Unite. And honestly, where is it? Like, it should be releasing by now. I'm pretty sure it should be coming out. And honestly, I want it to come out because I really do want to stream it. It seems like a game that might be fun to stream. Um, I'm a big fan of MOBAs. I played MOBAs for a large part of my life. So I would definitely jump into it and I will be trying it. I know a lot of people don't like it. I know a lot of people don't like mobile games. I hate Pokemon Go personally. No offense. If you'd like it, it's, you know, you're all prerogative you can enjoy whatever you want to enjoy but what i'm trying to get to right is that i want to play unite and it seems like we finally might be in that stage where we might actually get it very soon so yeah hey guess what i would call that very very good news so yeah awesome but 
next thing. So, Kilios did tweet something which I think is interesting. Uh, I'm just going to try to see if I can find the tweet so you guys can see it as well. But he basically tweeted out um, or replied to someone, will there be Megas specifically in BDSP? And as far as he said, he didn't directly say like, oh yes, 100% it's happening, we're getting Megas. But basically just said, you know, we could, it's the most likely option. And I think I actually found the tweet right here. You guys can see what it's all about. Uh, just so you kind of get a general gist of what I'm even talking about, if you don't even know what I'm saying. But here's what we're talking about, right? So, uh, somebody said, uh, can we expect Mega Evolutions of some sort, or should we expect a plain remake? And then Kilio said, we could. It's the most likely option. So honestly, Megas are the most likely thing to show up in these games, in all honesty. Like, it's just the most logical possible option of what we could get, right? It just, it's the most logical thing on the spectrum of possibilities here, right? It is the one that makes the most amount of sense. So yeah, in terms of information, that's basically it, guys. Uh, I'm not really going to go further into like a bunch of 4chan rumors and stuff because most of those just don't really have a lot of uh, substance as of late. It's been very dry in that area. And honestly, I don't want to cover daily rumors anymore. I want to just provide you guys with the information kind of summarized into a singular video once in a while, right? And this is that once in a while moment where we finally did that again. So that's it for the video guys if you did enjoy it make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for future content i'll see you on the next one peace out and bye bye ladies and gentlemen also by the way uh make sure to check out my other content guys i really would appreciate it i put a lot of time and effort into the other stuff so please check that out either way bye